All right, guys, today we are starting a new video series on the channel, which is going to be about coaching and how to actually be a better running coach. So this is, you know, anyone can enjoy watching these videos, but particularly they're geared at the running coach out there. Perhaps you're already a coach and you're looking to sort of up your game. Or perhaps you are an aspiring running coach, you want to get into some coaching and you're not really sure about where to start, how to do it. Uh, this video series is all about just giving you some tools and sharing some of my experiences as a running coach with you in order to help you improve. Being a good running coach relies on a few different things that we'll get into in different videos. We could, we could talk about different pillars of good coaching, but below those pillars, there's a foundation, right? And the foundation of good coaching is, in my opinion, communication. All right, communication is key if you want to be a good running coach. And there's a bit of a spectrum here where, you know, the optimal coaching situation is obviously going to be one where the coach is actually there with the athlete, right? Seeing the athlete on a daily basis, probably. That's like elite level Olympic coaching where the coach is just constantly following up the athlete, tweaking things from day to day. You know, that's, that's like an absolute top-notch coaching situation. On in the other end of the spectrum, uh, we might have someone who communicates with their athlete, you know, once a month or so. And if you, if you actually, if you look back in time, I've heard that before the internet, etc., some coaches would actually do coaching by mail, by post, right? So they would be sending a training plan. They would create a training plan for their athletes, send it to their athlete. The athlete would complete the training. Uh, make a training log and then send that training log back to uh, the coach with some comments and some reports from training, etc. Then the coach would look at that, analyze it, take it into consideration when creating the next plan. And of course, today with internet, we are very lucky to have uh, ease of communication. We can do video chat, we can make videos like this, chat, messaging, we can be on the phone. You know, there's endless possibilities. Uh, even if we can't meet in person, we can still communicate very well and that's really important because if you think about it there's a lot of training plans out there on the internet it's it's fairly easy to find a generic plan for a half marathon for example and those can be great for sure better than nothing usually uh, but there's something to be said about actually having a coach following up your training and customizing the plan to fit you and that's where communication comes in so i would say that the more you as a coach know about your athlete, the better it is, right? So the idea is that the athlete needs to give you feedback regularly as to how things are feeling, how tired are they, how are they handling the mileage, uh, is there any pains or injuries, did they like the workout you did last week, was it fun, uh, did they feel like they were able to do it well. Now with GPS watches, etc., we can actually, as coaches, look uh, at their training. And what we have to do then as coaches is to not just be, you know, computers looking at the data and then prescribing a workout and not really thinking about the human being that's behind those numbers. And that's where communication comes in. That's very important. We need to be able as coaches to listen to our athlete. We need to give them space to share, to um, communicate their feelings regarding our training because sometimes an athlete will feel like they need to do the training plan because you've written it right and they feel bad if they're not completing the workout etc whereas the truth is of course that you're actually your job as a coach is to actually tailor the workouts and the plan to the athlete uh, the athlete is not supposed to try and fit themselves into the plan which is often what happens and that's the only way to sort of get that working is to communicate right as a coach you need to be able to explain why you're doing things the purpose of the workouts you know get your athlete to buy into the plan and to believe in the plan otherwise it's not going to work usually they're, they're not going to do it um, and then the athlete needs to report back to the coach uh, with all kinds of details the more details the better so i offer different levels and types of coaching for my athletes. Most of them are on a monthly or bi-weekly plan, 
where I update their plan once a month or every two weeks um, after consultation, half an hour on Skype, where I gather information. But I also use another platform to gather information. And I just wanted to share that with you here at the end. Uh, and that's V.02. I'll put a link in the description. And, and just so you know it, I am affiliated with V.02. Uh, just so you keep that in the back of your mind. But I originally found the platform because I'm a very big fan of Jack Daniels, um, his book, The Daniels Running Formula. And this platform is basically built on that system. So just we'll get into that in another video. I want to show you guys the platform that I use and how I use it. But just for, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to just quickly show you how easy it is to communicate with athletes in this program. So as I said, I do have Skype consultations with most of my athletes. I have a WhatsApp um, messaging situation going on where they can ask me questions anytime and we can sort of communicate a little bit more in depth. But it's really nice in this V.02 platform here in the calendar, you can see that um, the athlete can actually comment inside of the actual run. So I'll program the training into this calendar. They'll complete it. I'll be able to see if they completed it. I'll be able to look at the, at the, at the stats and you know, the pace and the heart rate and all that stuff. And then at the bottom, they can actually add a comment after their run where they tell me how it went, maybe if there was an issue or whatever. And they can also say if they skipped it and why they skipped it. Um, etc. And then I can comment back. So uh, that's a really good way to be able to sort of, it's a training log essentially, and a, and a good way for me to keep track of how they're doing and how they're handling the different workouts uh, in the context of the workout itself, because it's sometimes difficult to, to get a message on WhatsApp, and then you have to go over to their training plan and sort of try and figure out which which run are they talking about again? They said they had a, a, had a, had a bad day. Which day was it? Okay, and then you have to find that run in the calendar. Well, here, uh, the, the comments regarding a particular run will be in the actual run itself in the calendar. Easier to keep track of it, and it sort of adds context. And as a coach, I can also add workout notes, of course, um, explain how to do a workout. And, you know, the more information, the better. The more information I can give the athlete to why we're doing a workout, the better. And the more information the athlete can give me as to how it's going and why they did what they did or didn't do what they didn't do. Or I just find that uh, platform really, really useful in that regard in terms of communicating with your athletes. So if you're interested in, in checking that out, as I said, the, the link is in the description. You can check out the platform. Uh, it's free to sign up as an athlete. So you can use that for your own training plan and, and play around with a little bit. And as a coach, you pay based on how many athletes you're coaching, how many clients you have, basically. So uh, go check it out. That's it for today. Uh, we'll make more videos in this series coming up, Coaching 101, or I don't know what I'll call the series. But thanks for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, to stay tuned to the rest of the video series. And remember, as a coach, number one priority, communication. All right. Bye-bye.